Welcome to Hidden Riches. My name is Andrew Hill, and today's Ors and Rumination, Ors and Rumination number seven, reads this way. And just remember, an Orison, it just simply means prayer. An Orison is prayer, and uh, rumination is uh, a thought. To ruminate is to think deeply about something, to meditate. So it's basically a prayer thought that helps us enter into a conversation with the Father. So we take this Ors and Rumination read it aloud, and then we engage the Father. So today's reads this way. Prayer is both receiving and giving, out and in like breathing. It is heart to heart like a parent with their child. It is a skin to skin kind of bond, just closer. So Father, I thank you for my own relationship with you, my personal connection with you. And I thank you that my connection with you is different from everyone else's, Lord, that everyone in our family, everyone of my brothers and sisters, Lord, their relationship with you is different, and I learned something from it. Lord, as your word says, a man can only give what he's received from heaven. And so I receive from my brothers and sisters what they get from you, what they share in their relationship with you, knowing Jesus personally. Lord, for you are the Spirit, and I thank you that my walk with you, my, my relationship with you, our closeness together, the secrets that you share is more precious than money. It's more precious than gold. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I've noticed, God, that at times when I'm talking to you, you, you begin to speak to me. And those thoughts begin to intermingle in a way where um, over time, I can't always tell when my thoughts end and yours begin and vice versa. And... Um, I thank you for the security that your word brings and the confirmation that it brings. That yes, the truths that I'm hearing, the things that I am seeing are of God. Um, and it's like that special decoder ring. Your Bible is that special a translator of heavenly language and heavenly communication. So I pray, Father, that all the saints would hear uh, your voice today, that all of us would hear you so close to us, hear your heartbeat so near to ours, skin to skin, God. In the same way I used to take my sons, as you know, God, and um, lay them against my chest uh, when they were little with just their old diapers on. And even as a dad, I wanted that skin to skin connection that a lot of moms have through breastfeeding and just naturally. I wanted that. I wanted to be so close to them that it would be hard to break the bonds between us. And God, you're closer to us than that, Lord, to live in us. You've been closing the distance from the beginning, from the garden. And um, Lord, going with walking with us in the cool of the day to the box of the covenant, Lord, the, the, um, the ark, God, that you were in, that you subjected your presence to, your manifest presence, God, to temples and the tabernacle, all of these things. God, but to now send your word to us in flesh. God, your word is not just uh, thoughts, but the word made flesh uh, was the word in movement. God, it was by demonstration. You went from speaking to demonstrating that Jesus, everything that you are, you are the word of God. And it is as if the word uh, became movement. It became demonstration. It became uh, um Movement. I don't know how else to put it, God. It's just a beautiful thing to think that everything you say has the intent of growth and movement and change and transformation. You never speak stagnant, empty words, but your words are full of life and um, birthing and great creativity. They're seeds that cannot be compromised. They're seeds that cannot perish. They're incorruptible seeds. And so now, Jesus, you've closed the distance to where you are spirit. The spirit is the Lord. And where the spirit is, there's freedom. And your spirit dwells within us. The Lord is the spirit. And you dwell within us. Lord, we are now your temple, temples of the Holy Ghost. We are your ark, God. We are the tabernacle of God. That you dwell within your children, the manifest sons and daughters. So I thank you for this level of communication. And I pray that as we turn the eyes of our hearts toward you in the same way that I'm looking at those Blue Ridge Mountains, God, and they're so blue and beautiful, God, so impressive. 
God, that we would turn our eyes to you, that I would turn my gaze to you. And immediately your love, your love and light and life, like a threefold cord, a threefold beam would penetrate my soul. God, that you would flood my soul with illumination, with life-giving power, God. Uh, and love, Lord. You would fill my heart full of love. Enlarge our capacity for love in the name of Jesus. Enlarge, enlarge our heart's capacity to carry love and to disperse it, to give it out in equity, to love our enemies, to bless those who curse, grant us supernatural ability to do those things, to forgive 70 times 7, to continually move forward, and not just to overlook something, but genuinely deal with it in you, give it to you, and our hearts remain soft, that they will be pliable, that they won't be hard, but just like leather, God, the oil of your presence would soften our hearts. Jesus, Father, I pray that we'll be mindful and be mindful stewards, just like the virgins that carry the oil, that we would carry our oil. Even though all of them slept, there were the five that carried oil and those that did not. And Lord, as you tarry, God, we, we have to persevere in this time. God, we have to be strong as it grows darker and, and darker, exceedingly dark, and shine in the darkness. And we can only do that with the oil of your spirit the oil of the Holy Ghost, the wine of the Holy Ghost that lights our lamp. For the spirit of a man is the lamp of the Lord, searching the innermost part of his being. And Jesus, I thank you for your incompromisable truth, for your indestructible truth, for your incorruptible truth, for the word went out into the earth. Lord, you came into your own and your own received you not. Lord, the enemy tried to extinguish the word and could not could not put it out, could not quench you, could not put out the word of God. Thank you, Jesus, that you cannot be stopped. You were murdered, yet you were the resurrection and the life, and you came and, and continued on to the right hand, ascending to the right hand of the Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Jesus Christ. Amen.